Hello everyone, <clears throat> here we are today with a gameplay for Medieval Chronicles. I'll be playing this game through um, one of my favorite websites for gaming on free Flash games, if not then, you know, other games. Uh, congregate. Let's check this out. Hey lady, how much more do we have to wait? <laughs> Is that supposed to be a lady? Please. Oh damn. I scuffed. I skipped. This is Mr. May. God, he's he's a ginger. We have been waiting for half an hour. If you ask me, this whole <laughs> calm calm down, Richard. Is that a dude or is that a girl? I'll just say that's a girl. But I'm gonna use my red right voice now. Screw this. <sighs> Calm down, Richard. Nobody asked you to be here. Feel free to leave if you are impatient. I seriously can't believe you are telling him to do this. Martha June. First name Martha, the last name June. Miss June. Okay. I'm doing this for his sake. Whether you see me that way or not. So, this, this guy's just staring at, at the entire, the entire event. Okay, I'm like, well, why not? He has, he has nothing to do here. Nothing. I apologize on the behalf of my colleague, Miss Fiona April. Oh, okay, we have it. It's that little purple guy, okay. He's just staring off to the distance. There's Miss June. I think that's us. And here is Jesus. I I don't even think I don't even think we got his name yet. Hi. Right. No worries, my lady. No worries, my lady. It is a common reaction from those who do not believe in the supernatural. Oh, Mr. May. Ah, I see what they mean. They're, they're all names of uh, months. So Mr. Me is like, Phew. just walks to the side. Please do not worry. Adam, Ag Adam Augustus is a genuine psychic, and all your questions will be answered. Okay, knowing how Mr. Hayes is right now, he seems like a very grumpy character. Let's just give him a voice. I swear, if it wasn't for him, I, <laughs> I can't take this seriously, I'm sorry. So, I swear, if it wasn't for him, I would never f would have set a foot in a place like this. And then, I, I, I think this would be my line. I don't know if it's our character because it has question marks there. Ah. But if you don't try to get out of your comfort zone, my friend. Oh. Oh. Okay, we have a mystery. Okay, that's Adam Augustus. Jesus, I thought it was going to be a, a dude. <laughs> I did to buy that face. He kind of looks like a dude. No, it's okay. And then I pity you. Who would not be able to see beyond his sight? Mad oh madam I've been I thought it was Adam. Madam Augustus. Hmm. Smoke and mirrors. What are you going to do next? Pull a rabbit out from it's uh from inside that hair. I'm gonna be stuttering a couple bits, you know, sorry. Sorry about that guys. 
Richard, please. Okay, so she apparently she's the psychic in this story. Um, let's check this out for a sec. I do not care for his opinions since he is not my client. I think that's how a psychic would sound. If I give him a little Russian accent. Mr. John Mark, I believe. Okay, so that's not, I don't think that's us. Madam Augustus. March, John March. So apparently that's March. June, April, and apparently August here. I think that one was... Uh, I forgot the third one. Sorry. Hmm. Weren't you supposed to come along with your wife? I thought she was the one who wanted to meet your mother, did she not? I, I feel like this is how a psychic would talk. Like, just mysterious -ish. Way classy. I would give her a female voice, but sadly, I'm not a female. I'm sorry. Okay, and here's Mr. March. He seems like a very heroic person, knowing that he would... He, he seems like the main character in all of this. So, March, I'm going to give you a little heroic voice. <clears throat> My wife passed away a couple of weeks ago. The stairs broke under her weight, and she fell to her death. <laughs> asking, what? Uh, I should have been going with that. <laughs> what? I'm so sorry to hear this. I see, so, then, why are you here? I need to talk to my wife. I need to know who killed her. Oh. Mm -hmm. you, you thought you said the stairs broke? The house was new, but so was everything in it. Things don't crumble on their own. John doesn't accept the fact that it was an accident, despite the police investigation. Spooky little boys. So why don't you do your mumbo jumbo and give him his place so he can get back to work? Nobody believes me. So psychic. Can you contact Rosane's spirit or not? So apparently. Mr. March's wife is Rosane. Okay, that, that's a good name, I guess. Creative. Your feelings are strong. Very well. I can get you in contact with the spirits. Everybody, take your places. We are about to begin. Good. Now, everyone, try to relax and think about the spirit we are going to call. March, I hope you brought something along with you. That the disease helped here. That, uh, sorry, studies. Yes. <clears throat> this is my wife's diary. It even has the letters in them that we used to write before we got married. That's perfect. I don't know, I think now it would be a little bit more upbeat because, you know, Mr. Augustus should warn you, this better not be fake out. I know I, I know a lot of boys probably before I, you know. The spirits are fickle and barely be the spirit love, but with strong emotions. They will be attracted to our world like that. So remember, remember her as best as you can. That won't be an issue. Now then, everyone, please close your eyes and think about the Rosane's March. Rosane March. good friends since university. I hope to see you again too. So apparently they have a bit of backstory. June and Rosane since university. 
Okay, nice. Who's the little character back? <laughs> we weren't that close, but you meant a lot to John. So for his sake, please give him the peace of mind he deserves. This may seem so grumpy in such a dire situation. Uh, I only met her once, but she seemed like a nice lady. Please come to us. April, you, you, you are definitely something. Ooh. Old child who left. Old child who left this world. Hear the cries of those who love you and show them the truth. Duh. What was that? She is here. I can see her. A, a tall woman, rose hair, topaz eyes. She is wearing the bracelet of that Miss June, herself, made as a marriage gift. Eh? I never told anyone it was a, a handmade. She remembers Richard wearing her not to break his friend's hearts. What? What? How'd you, how'd you? And her husband. Oh, her husband. Yes. Yes, what about me? Something is not right. She keeps mentioning... Betrayal. I knew it. Her death was not an accident. What is... The spirit is unstable. Something is causing him to writhe in pain. What? What? Why? Hey, stop. You're making him worse. I speak the truth, the spirit is in pain. What have we called here? A vengeful spirit? To us, this sounds like a really big role player. It's like, oh my god, what am I to say? Oh my god. So, so, uh, so, so much did kill her. Rose, Rose, you can hear me. Tell me, who killed you? Stop, you fool. Do not speak with the vengeful spirit directly. Rose, who killed you? No, okay. Me. <laughs> oh, Jesus, this is getting creepy. Be gone, spirit. Beyond spirit. Well, for a 2D animation for like an 8-bit little game, this is this is good. I, I love the story. Uh, what the hell? Oh, madam. I am okay. She's kind of. I mean, she's angry. The wrath of the spirit is more was more intense than I was prepared for. Hey, where is John? Hey, Martha. June. John. Did he? It seems he belongs with the spirits now. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I, feel I love this soundtrack. Yeah. Medieval I feel Chronicles, blessed. I love yeah. this soundtrack so far. Yeah, I feel blessed. This is good. Yeah. That was a great opening. Wait. Oh. I was about to say, that was a really short game. Wait, is that? No, okay, good. Alright, Soldier 1. I'm, I'm gonna just give them any. Like, I'm gonna give them a kind of a funny voice now. Hey, did you hear? 
The guy who fell through the window and pushed by a ghost. Soldier 2. Right. And I guess the Graven ate all the cookies last night, which I was saving for the banana cult meeting. Banana. Banana cult. Yeah, they, they, apparently they have a cult in this game based on bananas. I wonder what they do. I already said I was sorry, and I'm being serious here. I have a knack for detecting the supernatural. <clears throat> this place is coming with supernatural juices. Oozing. Dude. Phrasing. What's wrong? A sense of presence. What? Do you see this? Yes. I sense a terribly dark being nearby. Really? It is coming up. Prepare yourself for the most horrific thing you've ever seen. Oh, snap, I was actually being prepared. Oh god, it's dragging me. Already with the music and sound, he sounds like a very magical other person. He's like, you know, ill. A cringy, fancy other Oh, you're moving this oh, The stairs. Why oh, can't people live on the ground floor? I'm like normal. Damn architects. Bro, what is that? This is him. This is similar to a world. It is holes in the happiness. And it helps in its pitch dark valley. I feel like someone was talking trash about this. Jokes on them. I hit rock bottom ages ago. I guess I hit rock bottom. Well, I should get in there and see what the case is about. So, tutorial. Left click with the mouse desired location, object, or person. Um, Move and interact with them. And click open doors. I think that's what So that's. Okay, so we're playing as well. And then just use every soldier's little voice right now to say, like, Sorry, sir. Please show your ID before posting. Tutorial. Any clue you collect will be shown in the upper right uh, corner of the screen. Yeah. Click on the clue icon to activate. Talking to someone with an activated clue will give more information about the clue. Huh. Well, here's another tutorial. The badge was added in two clues. Click on the badge and talk to the guard again. The other different result. Oh, okay, so this is it's like the interactive thing to over experience that go through. Okay, I see what you So clicking on the badge. Hmm, let's see. Officer Drag Moritz. That's me. Wait, aren't you the guy who's either depressing or depressing? God, he's the best. I feel you, Dragon. I feel you. Sometimes I spice things up with a small amount of suicide. I'll give him a depressed voice now, because, you know, now we know a little bit of backstory. Whoever, you can come in. Officers Polly and Tria, uh, Polly and Tria are already at the scene. That's what it takes. Should be a little bit more. 
have you ever been too nice and ended up in a situation which could have been avoided? If you were an asshole. What? Is this nice? You speak of? Hurry up and summon a ghost of me. I keep telling you, you need a strong attachment to the person who trusts you before it's over. So, what exactly are you planning to do? When the ghost is summoned, isn't it obvious? I'm gonna arrest, arrest it for first degree murder. Arresting the ghost. That's great. The only, th uh, the only thing being murdered here is logic. I'm going to be the first cop who arrested a ghost successfully. People like you are the reason God invented. Can I sacrifice you and summon the ghost? In your body or something? That won't work. And you're right. Even ghosts will probably don't want anything to do with him. If you're done fantasizing about my death, I appreciate it if you give me the details of what happened here. Haven't you guessed a ghost pushed somebody? Some guy, somebody, out of the window with its ghostly magic powers. Right? I just start from the beginning. Doesn't tell a story. Good, good, good work on the flash. I love that. And when the candles came back, March had fell to his death, and the giant bloody words appeared. What do I do to deserve cases like this? So, what do you think? Want to let ghosts together? Tira, Tyro, Tyro, have you done any actual police work using Tira Ryan? Yes, can't you see? I'm summoning the ghost for interrogation. Scratch the place with leaves now. You're not the boss of me. Hmm. Alright, fine. Just stop looking at me. Just look at me. Looks like I was asking for the right. They look like demon eyes to me. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. They're demonized, and then the other person looks at the other of the eyes. It's obviously something like right that. And me, there you have it. And finally, some peace in me. Marvelous, simply marvelous. Oh, he. I think he looks like a scientist. Uh, he kind of reminds me of. Uh, I won the anime full metal on Because he has that little power with it. Just saying. This will make a great addition to my book. Once I start writing it, of course. Or doing like a nerdish kind of thing. Why is the dance psychologist here? I'd like to check this out. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Where do you live? Constant despair. My boy Drag looks a little depressing. Oh, 
great. Well, knowing you, I might receive sooner than I expect. Why are you here? I'm a psychologist. I'm not a good one at that. Budget cutbacks, besides, I always admire them. If they don't complain, I'm going to them with a stick. You poke a lot of people too. Never mind, so what's the deal with these words? I'm still looking into it, but I'm barely certain this was a simple accident. I will apologize to Officer Tyra later. What accident? Wait. Accident? Yes, it seems the window was already weathered and weak, which broke easily when Mr. March crashed through it. Couldn't someone have missed it the window? I'm still expecting, but if that were true, this would have been five months ago with the knowledge that the window will be Admit all. Oh, admit already. Admit already. I know it would be one of you. Stop wasting everyone's time and surrender yourself. Hey now. Hey now. I'm telling you, I have nothing to do with it. I have nothing to do with it, okay? I was just tacking along. I was just trying to make John accept his wife's death. I, I, I have nothing to do with him calling. Hmm. I will have the truth out before this day ends. Um, I better go before Kelly. Such an anti-social person, why would you ever work as a cop? I was always passionate about not starving to be. I'm planning a birthday party. What do you usually do on your birthday? Contemplate my choices and dream till I can't feel my soul. Looks like I will have to increase the pressure. Are you mad because I ate your ice cream this morning? That was you? By the way, I had a note attached to something about her that was I don't know, I threw it away. Don't go half reading other people's notes. At least have a reason to read it completely. Prime suspects, Mr. Richard May, an equal partner of Mr. March's wood furnishing business. I'm telling you, I had nothing to do with John's murder. We started as business partners, but then we became close friends. And if Miss Martha June, Mr. March's deceased wife, Friend, deceased wife's friend, and the one who brought everyone here. Oh, please, I was just trying to help John get over those out because it's just Roseanne's death. Roseanne's death. Yeah, well, you both 
are the only one close ones to the victim. Present while this bizarre murder happens. Sai believes. Oh, Sai believes it was an accident. Sai believes it was an accident. Whatever. The case. I cannot allow these two to just leave. Yet. I'm going to look around for some more since you're here. You just start investigating and talk to the witnesses. Sounds like a problem. So let me wrap my head around this. First, Tyro claims the guy was done in the vengeful spirit of his dead wife. Second, the doctor thinks it was an accident caused by a worn out window. Third, Polly thinks it was one of you, one of the two people who knew March who were present during the incident. I don't know how today will end, but I am certain of one thing. This case is filled with high spirits. <laughs> nice pun. <laughs> Tutorial. You can now talk to people and interact with the environment to collect clues. Tutorial. Collect all clues to start with the next stage of the investigation. Tutorial. Incident report has been added to clues. Tutorial. Detailed information about the clues can be accessed by clicking on the upper left icon of the screen. I like how they just popped it right up there. Similarly, well, tutorial. Similarly, you can check the profiles of all the people involved in the case, but you will need to talk to the witnesses of their profiles to add their profiles. Tutorial. John March and Drag Moores have been added to the profiles. So we don't have to investigate those guys, we simply just have to investigate these guys. By the way, I am loving the soundtrack. Che check this game out, this is actually pretty interesting. So... Mr. May. Oh, oh it's that grumpy guy. How long do I have to wait here? I have important meetings to attend. I believe they can wait considering your business partner died. He was a good friend, but just so you know, I missed my father's funeral. Too close a business deal. I wasn't aware that furnishing was such a giant business. The furnishing is just one of my many businesses, so if you think that I killed John for his money, you are dead wrong. So, if not for the money, why did you kill him? Wait, wait, I came out wrong, what am I saying? Is that, I had nothing to do with John's death, it must be June. Yeah, I heard when you were talking to Polly. Why do you suspect the lady? Well, she, she's the only one who organized today's event and paid the psychic too. I was invited to the very last minute. Very well. Stay here for now. I might have questions for you later. Do I have a choice? Just hurry up. Profile added. Richard made. Edits profiles. So we have him down. Uh, let's check out other things, other people. insult coming that's an insult hearing those words come from your mouth even walking around is hard work compared to your work what can i say drinking all night is not exactly energetic so stop drinking i'd rather die i can arrange that just give me a hammer and your head for five minutes it will have to wait until i destroy the post office Whatever. Once you have clues to discuss, stop bothering me and, su and, and suffer in the corner. So 
so Tyra. That was pretty rude. Greetings, Miss, uh, it's June, Martha June. I'm close friends with Mr. and Mrs. March. Well, wise. I'm Dragon Morris, the king of bad decision makers. Just so you know, I had nothing to do with John's death. In fact, I... Yes, you want. No, nothing. I was just a close friend of Roseanne since college days. So the couple went a lot to me. I see. When you should be looking at is that Richard May, he claims to be John's friend, but he's still, no, he's all about the money. Officer Polly is right to suspect him, as he will do anything for money, even murder. We will take it into consideration. That long pause while introducing herself when she's hiding something. I'll have to show some proof to make her open up. Profile added. Martha June. It was added to the profiles. Okay. You see, I knew it was Martha June. I was, I was actually suspecting her. Because, yes, those pauses are saying that she, you know, has something to hide. Me personally, I actually have depression, so I would understand what Drake feels and say. So I talked to those guys. Piano. This is a soldier. If you are an antisocial person, why would you? Oh, I talked to you. No passion about starving to death. Yep. I haven't talked to you. So it's a lady like you doing in a place like this. Excuse me, are you flirting with me? No, I'm saying that this place is too nice for someone like you. How rude. I... How rude. I, Fiona April, am a tourist guide for the supernatural spots. I frequent this place more than you think. Would you like a tour? of a real haunted house? No need, I live in one. So, how are you related to this messy ghost murder? I was the one who introduced Mr. March's deceased wife, Rosane, to Adam Augustus several weeks ago. We made reservation for last night to summon the ghost of March's mother to talk to her. But I was surprised that March told us she died. He had Madame Augustus summon her spirit instead. I never knew she died since we received a uh, payment, but only now I found out the payment Miss June that Miss June was the one who made the payment. Miss he I highly doubt that she could tell me more useless things about the supernatural things. Oh, I highly doubt that she could tell me more unless it's about supernatural things. So, there I collected profiles. Did I already talk to you? I assume I did. Nope. Yeah, I did. Birthday party. Birthday boy. And here we have Madame Augustus. Greg Morse, we finally meet. You've heard of me? Of course. The spirits go haywire around you. It seems they are strangely attached and respelled at the same time in your presence. Hmm. Don't worry. The secret's safe with me. I don't wish to tempt fate by meddling with affairs beyond my sight. What about March? Did you not attempt to toy with his fate with your normal general? Believe what you must, but my powers are real, and the spirit summoned last night was indeed of his wife. So you believe that the ghost killed him? I don't know, but one thing is certain. 
That spirit is in pain. It was vengeful. And for whatever reason, it took it, it on Mr. Much. Um, stay seated. I may have questions for you later. I have time to spare. So there we have it. And now I haven't talked to you. Why are there more female soldiers around? Because they were too busy making better life choices. I mean, okay. I'm just gonna be scoping around right now because it's, you know, looking around. It, it's, it's, it helps. It's a comfortable bed. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind being murdered on you. I'm liking driving. Greg's a nice guy. He seems like a nice guy. Okay, well, that's about it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.